Journey with No Maps is a biography of the poet P.K. Page, who was both a poet and a visual artist. Uh, the poet also wrote prose pieces, and in the last decade of her life, she published almost 19 books, two of which were collections of short stories. Uh, Page was a very fine poet who was born in England, but immigrated to Canada when she was about two, and uh, with her father and mother. Her father had uh, come to Red Deer uh, as a young man and homesteaded, and then joined up and went to the front. P.K. was raised on the prairies in uh, Winnipeg and Calgary, and was very much influenced by the prairie landscape. As a young woman, she traveled to London, where she encountered modern art and poetry. And when she returned to Canada, she worked on her own uh, in the Maritimes, really perfecting her craft as a poet. In 1941, she went to Montreal, and in Montreal became a part of the preview group of poets who are associated with Canadian modernism. About 1946, uh, Piquet went to um, Ottawa, joined the National Film Board, and became active uh, making film strips for the film board. In 1950, she married W. Arthur Irwin, who was <coughs> the uh, commissioner of the film board and later uh, High Commissioner to Australia and Ambassador to Mexico and Brazil. It was not until 1963 that she returned to Canada and she and Arthur moved to Victoria where she lived until her death in 2010, really January 2010. P.K. had an enormous influence on younger writers, poets, uh, and artists of all description. She was a woman of enormous life, and uh, in her youth, a very beautiful woman. Her paintings, which are hanging here, and her uh, sketches here at the Winchester Art Gallery, uh, are those which uh, are executed in various modes, some tempera, some in black ink, uh, she's a very fine structural artist, as well as a very fine colorist. I thought she was admirable as a person and as an artist.